Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Hope all are fine guys. Today's topic is a flash code arc welding. So what is FCAW welding? So this is uh, the very important we are actually we are using this FCAW welding is most probably in uh, structural welding and some of the piping welding pipeline welding we are using. So this is very important we need to know. So this is a uh, you see here this is trade terms trade terms we need to know before we go to the explanation of the uh, principle of the mode of operation so trade terms is arc what is arc in welding we already explained this one in the arc in the previous all videos about welding videos you can check there in um, for me you have to go to my channel then you can understand the, what is the arc arc in welding the electric in welding the electric arc is produced when the welding current is forced to jump a gap and pass through the air means there is a gap between the electric arc create when, where the electric arc will be created the gap will be there this gap and pass through the air the air will be there and the gap air, air and gap and that in that between the arc will be created the air has a high resistance to electrical flow in that air high resistance to electrical flow that that cause the high temperature then high temperature it's more than maybe thousand ten thousand degree finite and need to melt the base material then this fahrenheit this temperature can melt the base material this is called arc flux the role of a flux in joining process is typically Dual dissolving of the oxide on the metal surface, which facilitate weighting by molten metal, and acting as an oxygen barrier by coating the hot surface, preventing its own oxidation. So basically, flux we are using for the shielding the material and preventing the oxidation. If there is a shielding of materials, means this is the weldability of the material, weldability of the weld welding, weldability of the weld metal will be very strong so the role of the flux is joining process in the typical dual one is dissolving the oxide on the metal surface yes another which facilitates weighting molten metal acting as the oxygen barrier so this is the flux work flux is working trade term shielding in welding just i will discuss this uh, before shielding in welding shielding is the act of protecting the molten old, me old metal from atmospheric contamination shielding can be achieved by shielding gas or by splat so how we can achieve a shielding uh, shielding by shielding gas or shielding gas what is the shielding gas it may be carbon dioxide it may be argon and by a flux so shielding is in welding shielding in the act of protecting molten water from atmospheric atmospheric we have the so many gases are there so many contamination is there so we have to prevent that contamination to make the sound wave that's why we may, we need the shielding electrode in arc welding an electrode is used to conduct current through a workpiece to fuse the two pieces together so electrode what is the work of electrode electrode is to use to contact current to create the current to conduct the current through a workpiece then what happened if it is the current will be go there and it will be made to fuse two pieces together and it will be made and the weld will be weld will be occurred and welding uh, welding joint can be prepared in fcaw the electrode is consumed as part of the completed oil yeah the electro in fcaw the electrode is a consumed as a part of the completed oil here yeah. The flask cork arc welding process. So I have to go now the process. What is the process? As defined by the American Welding Society, flux arc welding is an electrical arc welding process. This is not the pressure welding. This is the fusion welding. So this is electric arc welding process is the fusion welding that fuse metallic parts by hitting them with an arc between a continuously feed content because uh, there is a filler wire this is continuously feeding it's not like the smw welding this is a continuously feeding the uh, electrode consumable and flask for electrode and the work and the work so which an arc between a continuously feed so arc will be created there, there is a between a continuously feed consumable flask for electrode and the work so three things is there is consumable feed is there means elect wire filler wire consumable this is consumable okay and the flask core electrode and the work so in these two between 
the arc is created. Primary shielding for the molten gold metal is obtained from the flaxing ingredients within the tubular electrode that are deposited as a slag on the top of the oil. So, in that condition, there is no shielding. If there is a, if there is no, so, so how it will be go shielding? The flax will be come here on the tubular from on a on a on a tubular uh, product, and inside the tubular there is a flax will come when the arc will be created when the welding will be continuously going at the same time flux will become from the tubular so within the tubular electrode that are the deposited a slag on the top of the oil the flux code electrode may be supplemented by an external shielding gas so we can use the same area where the electrode filler oil is coming at the same area we can use the shielding you can use the shielding gas or the other other tubular we can supplement it we can use the external shielding glass so we can use flux and shielding as both self shielded fcaw self shielded self means is already it's the electrode is there at the same time as the flux is coming so this is called the self shielded fcaw and there is no need for external there is no need for external gas or flux you see solidifying slide wire guide and the contact tube this is old metal and weld full direction of the welding tubular electrode this is the tubular electrode and the flux is there covered in this tubular electrode so powerful powder powder metal vapor forming metal deoxidized and scabbing arc shielded compost and vaporized vapor slag forming compounds arc and metal transfers so this electrode is already self shielded means our code is there uh, cover the electrode cover the filler metal so this is no extra shield required this is called self shielded fcw process type there is two process type used for the deposition metal one is self shielded one is gas gas shielded so what is self shielded all the fluxing ingredients required for the proper transfer of the filler metal and shielding of the molten pool are included in the core material yes at the same time i am telling the filler metal and the core and the flux will become at the same tubular so this is called self shielded gas shielded is shielding gas is used in addition to the shielding from the flash core so a shielding gas gas shielded is there means there is additional shielding gas we provided from the other tubular uh, from other tubular pipe so you can see a shielded gas is used in additional to the shielding gas from the flash core carbon dioxide can be used alone with argon in a specified mixture to shield a molten oil pool from an outside atmosphere so oh, you have so you can understand you understand now self shielded and what is the gas shielded what is the mode of operation fcw can be done can be done in one or two ways one is semi automatic and the automatic what is semi automatic where the weld is made using fcw equipment and a manual welding gun there is manual welding gun we have to do manually setting first we have to setting the welding parameter into the your machine after that you have to manually you have to start the welding gun and on to the welding joint automatic is the weld is made using specialized equipment and it's totally automatic you have you can go the pipeline welding and the pipe the pipeline welding and uh, if 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 it's a w welding so you can uh, you can see there is a cw welding and the same thing is you can use the automatic welding the weld is made using specialized equipment and control they are monitored by the machine operator means machine is of machine is operating the fully uh welding and it it is control it is already set it before start of the welding all the current voltage travel speed everything so this is automatic and the semi automatic you can you can uh, you can uh, change your current and voltage at the time of uh, when you are doing welding semi automatic but in automatic you cannot you have to stop the we have to stop your machine after that you have to change your voltage and current you cannot say it it is not maybe if you you can do but it's not good for some, maybe some uh, variation will come and maybe come the welding problem and welding defects fcw equipment power supply the power supply provide the welding current needs the melt the base metal and the electrode so the power supply what provide provides the welding current needed to melt the base metal and the electrode so this is the power supply requirement 
these FCW uses two types of voltage current. One is direct current electro DC EN, electronegative for seal self filled FCW, direct current electrode positive for gas filled FCW. So this is very important. We have to remember direct current electrode negative for self filled FCW and direct current electrode positive is for gas filled FCW. If CW equipment wire feeder, this is one just we have, so it's only one picture. The wire feeder is the device that feeds the required amount of filler metal at a fixed rate of speed throughout the welding operation. So, at the time of our WPS, we have to check the how much wire feed we need for per minute, how much length we need so that oil deposited metal is same so it's in oil deposited metal is um is uh, continuously providing to the welding joint so how much how much wire fit is need we need to check at the time of wps and we have to follow the same as per the wps the rate of speed then what is fcw equipment guns you see fcw equipment guns it's showing that like this is two types one is self cylinder is like this and the gas cylinder is like this so the gun is held by the welding during welder during the welding operation it is at the tip of the gun where the electrical current is transferred to the filler metal the gun is trigger control to start and stop operation of the machine so this is two types of gun is there one is gas cylinder and another self cylinder gas shielding fcw equipment you see here all this you have the basic requirement what is the requirement of the gas shielded fcw equipment power source and controls power supply shielded electrode supply gas regulator shielding gas supply electrode feed unit welding gun so this is the gas shielded fcw equipment basic requirement self shielded fcw equipment you see here this is machine, this is the nozzle, this is the torch gun. So this is all the self signal because the oil is oil and the flux at uh, the oil is coming with um, core flash core with flash core so no need the extra shielding gas. What is the advantage of FCW? Why you are using FCW? At the if you go the structural area of some of the full production area, so much area product we are using FCW because of high productivity. If the productivity is one one hour maybe you can you can uh, you can uh, long areas you can do the welding high productivity deep penetration is there means welding strength will be good high quality welds all positional welding can be do all position in the in any position tolerant contamination better than GMW there is no contamination any means defect will not come more more suitable for the field work than GMW more suitable the event more than uh, it's suitable for uh, at side welding more than gmw combines that advantage of smw good shielding gmw combines the advantage of smw good shielding and gmw high productivity so these two things is combined the fcw we can use the fcw for these two things we can achieve good shielding also high productivity FCW, what is the disadvantage? Slack to contain with during welding. Slow slag is there to contain during welding. So it is sometimes it is very hard to remove the FCW slag. Slag removal is very critical if you not remove with the correct time. Smoky process helps a little bit. Electrode cost is more, more than SMW and this one. The GMW equipment complexity. Complexity is equipment is very good. Uh, complex means very difficult to set all this current voltage if it is something not set is properly then uh, the uh, uh, immediately the uh, welding will be come the visually is very poor what is fcw discontinuity what what are the disc, uh, fcw discontinuity slag inclusion porosity can become incomplete fusion can be happening incomplete joint penetration can be happening slag inclusion FCW application. So I think this FCW discontinuity everybody knows slag inclusion. Slag inclusion if there is a slag between the interface temperature, slag may be there, then you have to slag inclusion, then in the radiography can be made type one of the G factor will come porosity because of the contaminator of the, the electrode, maybe your electrode is uh, out of the square, then incomplete fusion, 
is current is and voltage is depend upon current and voltage in complete fusion is not happening the current is too low in complete joint permutation same as current is low so this type of fcw discontinuity you have to check that all these uh, variable all this current voltage ammeter tra travel speed everything is correct what is the fcw application where we can use the general fabrication of steel and stainless steel i told all the shell structure shell fabrication steel and the shell steel structure shell fabrication we are huge using fcw pressure vessel of gases and liquids heavy equipment fabrication and repair surface component for protection taken for hard pressing and maintenance and repair these are all area we are using the fcw now is a very important fcw electrode classification system how we have we can we can understand what is this the electrode classification here e what is e e means electrode this is this symbol means what is this minimum passivity by strength cell strength x it is like that x what is this i will tell the uh, after finish this all designation i will uh, classify application after i will tell what is that i will give one example this yellow this yellow it is minimum passivity by tensile strength it means this this x means this this uh, yellow color it means electrode classification system welding position you can you can understand this if it is mentioned here the what is called is one two or three whatever is there the welding position what is this this is t means tubular so this is coming under from the tubular that's so called the tubular okay what is this is the last one is the fcw is the chemical composition operating characteristics what is the chemical composition for this electrode so these are all classification now you see here chemical composition you see here this is one typical lesson f e means what electrode seven means what i will tell seven seven means minimum specify tensile stress is seventy thousand psi okay and this is one is holding position what is there one one means holding position t means tubular and x means chemical composition operating characteristic so you have you can you can see here typical fcw classification is 71 t1 the stainless steel some electrode is here typical application e308 tl Holding 304 base metal, so holding E308 LTX means low temperature holding 304 or 304 as base metal. So for this electrode, we are you we can use for different types of base metal. If you see that the holding 304 base metal, if it is base metal 304, so we can use 308 TX. If it is 304 or 30L, so we can use 308 LTX. If it is 316, 316 TX. If it is 316 or 316 L means low temperature, so 316 L base metal. If it is holding stainless or uh, holding stainless to carbon, stainless to carbon still then E309. If it is joining there is a holding stainless steel to carbon E309 T, we can use for stainless FCW electrode. The X indicates the type of gas shielding. So for stainless FCW electrode, if we are using the stainless FCW. But it's normal FCW electrode that X means the chemical and operating characteristic. But in for stainless FCW, this X indicates the type of gas shielding. So this is one of the one of the brief idea about the FCW welding. In the next video, I will explain the FCW details for each as per the WPS. I will explain. It. Okay, thanks for watching this video. Please uh, don't forget to share and subscribe my video and please comment, watch, comment and share so that uh, I will I will upload more again's video. If you please subscribe, otherwise maybe you can miss out my next video. Thanks again. And another thing is very important. You can see here the link is here subscribe is button is here so you can subscribe and you can link here the previous video so you don't go to the other videos uh, don't want to go my channel inside you can click here and you can see my previous video thanks again